Well, my name is Ebenezer Day. Um, I'm getting a master's in pharmaceutical science um, degree, um, hopefully by December 14th. And um, I'm from Ghana, West Africa. I'm Bernice Adai from Ghana, West Africa, and I'm obtaining a master's degree in physics here. It's an interesting story, but I would say my wife <laughs> brought me here. She got a scholarship to come do her master's in physics, and so I decided to follow and um, found this program here in Bright. I thought it was interesting. And I had a bachelor's in biochemistry, so this was a good fit for me continuing with my degree. It was hard, but we've, we almost threw it, so yeah, it wasn't easy. Like on the day, you know we have a little girl, a 40-month-old girl, and the day she was delivered, he had a test. <laughs> I believe life is about people, and if you are in an environment where you have people sincerely interested in your progress, um, it's easier for you to do what you are doing. He, he is really a you know, working hard student. Um, I think that is why he can graduate in two years. So most of the students in master's program um, probably will take more than two years. Some of them take like a two and a half year. Um, not many of them can just finish it in two years. We excel academically, we excel in taking care of our baby, mm -hmm. and we take good care of each, each other. other, and we both don't feel ignored by either party. I think it's been a good experience. I've had a good exposure um, being here. What makes the Bright program unique is the hands-on practical experience students have in the lab, and the fact that we have um, almost every equipment you would find in industry so that students are more or less working in the industry whilst schooling. Initially we have a postdoc um, that guide him every day and then um, he kind of um, you know pick up all those skills and thinking about the research project and um, um, not take too long that he can work on uh, the project by himself, like independently. One of the challenges anyone faces traveling to a new place is the um, challenge of a language. Um, it's interesting that when I came in here, my first exposure to people, they are like, you have an accent. And I'm also like, I don't understand all that you say. You also have an accent. <laughs> so, yes, um, part of the challenge was to get to understand people and also for people to understand me when we communicate. When I graduate, I'm looking at applying for a PhD in education and I'm um, intending to concentrate in either science or math education. I am looking at working in the industry. I'm looking at um, um, working as a quality assurance, quality control officer, or as a, a research scientist. When I was coming, we had just been married two weeks and I had to leave. When I first came, I thought it was the worst decision I had ever taken. I wanted to go back home. But then I came with two other guys from my school who encouraged me to stay on, and I thanked them for that. Because yeah, cause now my husband is here, we are both having our degrees, and we have a baby. And I just didn't pass through. I, I'm graduating with a very good GPA. So I think it's been worth it. Having my family together and having my degree alongside, I mean, just great.